Hey, what's going on there, folks? It's Charles Ellison with you again, coming to you with a brand new tutorial. And we are going to be learning about assigning user defined properties to points. Uh, we're going to be diving a little bit uh, further into defining properties to points. Uh, we did that in our last exercise. But as always, if you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D, if you're a beginner, you're learning for the first time, you're getting your feet wet, feel free to go to civil3d.tv where you can sign up for free updates that get emailed to you every month with brand new tutorials and some of the stuff that, uh, that gets sent out, all the, the latest stuff that uh, gets sent out to the, the subscribers. If you would like to become a subscriber, you can start a free trial by clicking this button right here, and then you get a free three-day trial, which allows you to peruse all of the course content, all of the edited course content. But as always, we're starting off with a stream. All of the latest streams are on YouTube. And there's also a continual, there, there has been a continuous uh, live stream that's, uh, that's been going 24-7. So that's been uh, kind of on and off lately. I've, I've just been testing a few things just to see how all of that stuff would work out. But, uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get started with our tutorial. Let me get myself organized here. Bear with me. All righty. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to be assigning user-defined properties to points. Now, in this exercise, you'll use the point groups to associate user-defined properties with points in your drawing. This exercise continues from creating a label style that displays a user-defined property. And so, let's go about uh, assigning user-defined properties to points. If you're in CAD, go to your points-4C drawing which is located in your tutorials folder. And then after that, go ahead and go over to your tool space. And then click on, make sure you're on the prospector tab, which is what we're in right now. And then we want to focus on, let me see here, we want to focus on point groups right here. Okay, now, let's see here. Hey, what's up there, Sammy? Good morning. Good morning, brother. I see you right here in chat. It's good to see you. Yeah, after this, uh, after this nice little tutorial stream here, I'm going to be going out for a run. Kind of get the blood, blood flowing. Good to see you, Sam. I hope you have a good day, brother. Okay. Let's open this portion up a little bit more. Okay, now you see, if I click on points, I get a listing of points down here at the bottom. 
And then under point groups, I get a totally different list. Okay. If I open up this classification, I get a list right here. And what we want to do is in the item view, we want to click store manholes right here. And for classification, we want to change this to manhole UDP, just like so. What's up there, Sammy boy? So he says, uh, appreciate you, brother. Thanks for showing up. Have an awesome day. Yes, stay active. Yeah, man, got to get got to get that blood flowing, man. You got to get that heart pumping. That way you don't, you know, fall asleep, you know, in early in the morning, you know, or when you go into work, you know, a lot of times you, you know, just sort of drag and you just sort of, you know, you're just tired. I mean, getting that blood flowing in the morning, it's good for you. Wakes you up. Okay. So after we've done that, we're going to apply the user defined property point label style. So in the prospector tree view, expand the point groups. So we're going to expand this. Click store manholes. Okay, now if we open this up even further, we've got all of, let me see here, let me back up. check out properties real quick here. Bear with me. Let's see. No, not here, not here. Let's cancel out of that. Point group heading. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to right click right here up at the heading. We're going to clear the checks for point number, point label style. Where's that at? Right here. And hole pipe invert. Check this. The manhole pipe in material. Okay, all that stuff is checked off or cleared, I should say. Okay, clearing the checkboxes turns off the display of columns you don't need to see in this exercise. Now we're going to click the row for 307. Well, we need to know what the point number is. How about we turn that back on? 307. So there's that right there. All 
Okay. Now, if we want to bring back the point label style, right click again, and look down, and turn that back on. Then, if we scroll all the way over, like so, we have our point label style. If I don't want it all the way over here, I can click and drag this column so that it's maybe over here. So it isn't so far over. And for 307, if I wanted to change this, I could click that cell. And I can change the label style to manhole UDP. Then click OK. Now if I wanted to, I could click on 307 again and zoom to. And here's that manhole right here. See how it lists the invert right here? If I, where did my point label style go? Did it shift on me? Well, how about this? How about instead of all of this other stuff, see all this other stuff that we don't really need right here? We can click right here and we can go down here, grid listing, we can turn that off, we can turn this off, longitude, latitude, scale factor, all the stuff that we don't really need to view at this time. We can just leave it like that so we can kind of keep it a little, a little easier to understand here. Let's move this a little further over. That's our point label style column. What did it look like before? If we click on this cell again, and we go back to standard, see how that changes back? So, if I want to bring that back again, click that, click on standard again, then click on manhole UDP, then click OK. This references our last exercise from our last video tutorial. So if you want to know how to add this user-defined information into this label style, just revert back to the, the previous video or, or previous exercise within this course. <clears throat> okay, we're going to repeat the steps that we just went through. We're, we're going to change this, the style to manhole UDP for point six sixty seven. Just like so. We'll zoom in. You can see that's changed. Okay, now we're going to specify user defined property values. For 307, we'll click on that. Then we're going to look for the manhole invert cell. It's not listed here. Let's see if we can get that to pop up. If we right click on our column heading right here, and if we scroll down, here we go, manhole pipe in invert. Let's check that back on. And we scroll over here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is it right here. This is our user defined property right here. I'm going to move this over here, kind of shift it over. Move that, well, maybe over there. 
Okay. Uh, one more. Let's try one more. Okay, that's better. Okay. So for point 307, we've got that highlighted. We've got our pipe in invert column listed. So we want to actually add an invert elevation for this. We'll change this to 93.05. Then hit enter. And let's zoom to that point. Zoom to, zoom out a little bit. And there's our invert elevation right here. Let's go to 667. Let's zoom to that point. If we zoom out a little bit here. Let's scrunch this up a little bit. Okay, here's our invert listing. 667. We scroll over to our manhole. Where is it at? Did it move? Let's just slowly scroll over. Oh, it looks like the column moved. That's a little weird, isn't it? Okay, here it is. Manhole pipe in invert. For 667, which is right here, click that. And we, we'll type in an elevation of 93 and hit enter. And there you have it. So that, my friends, is how you go about assigning user-defined properties to points. That's it, folks. Take care. Peace.